And speaking of loading guns, 3D printing technology has got a big boost by President Obama in his most recent State of the Union address, but this latest innovation isn't without its flaws. Last year, a gun developer first displayed an AR-15 rifle that was composed of several printed parts. But the printed parts only lasted for about six shots until today. Take a look at this. The developer is now claiming it has improved the receiver parts enough to allow it to fire over 600 rounds. So a major step forward for the 3D printing industry and a big step back for gun control advocates. The blueprints to the lower receiver have been freely distributed and uh, downloaded by internet users, which brings up serious questions about the feasibility of regulating printed weapons. For now, no gun exists that is composed solely of printed parts, but the defense uh, distributed company is in the process of developing other printed components for its guns. We'll keep you updated on that story as it comes up.